hi guys and welcome back to another vlog so today i didn't plan on filming the intro today i was actually going to film it last night and then i forgot because i got busy and just forgot so i am doing a vlog today of going to london and i am so nervous <laughs> Um, I just want to document this, one for myself and obviously to like if it turns out to be a good vlog then to post it on YouTube. I am a really anxious person, um, don't know if many people that know me follow me on YouTube but if you don't know me then yeah I get a little bit anxious and this is a really big thing to go on the tube and things like that because yeah I am not amazing with busy places <laughs> and things like that anyway so basically today is like a little should we say tester because i have got a concert in a few weeks and we've got to go back up to london it's a big thing for me um obviously people that do it every day and like live there i mean i just think wow you're amazing like you do that every day but i just struggle a little bit so basically i wanted to go a couple of weeks before just to like show myself it's okay and it's going to be okay because obviously i want to go to the concert so <laughs> i sort of needed to do this today to explain to myself that like the tube's okay and i'm going to be able to do it on the day that i go to the concert anyway hope that all makes sense but i just wanted to take you with me through like the journey today and like obviously just being in London and just the journey of like my emotions and like how I'm feeling and things because I don't know I feel like I see everyone like online and they go to London and they have really good great times and great days and like obviously I'm hoping to have that today but I don't feel like many people show like the other side to it of if you do get a little bit anxious about things then I just feel like that isn't shown as much so I just wanted to do that today just to show that like you can do it but it is a bit like nerve-wracking. I will obviously be really careful with hanging it having my camera out I have got like a little strap on it um obviously I won't be getting it out like all the time because um obviously I'm a bit worried that it's gonna get taken um a lot of girls I've been following on YouTube recently have said like they've been going down to London they've not been getting their cameras out just because it's a bit like I, it's always happened but a lot of girls are saying it more recently so i won't be sort of getting it out all, all the time but i'll try and get it out as much when i feel like i can get it out i need to do this little intro just to sort of give you a insight of what this vlog is going to be about i'm planning to go to the british museum so that is sort of on the same tube line as what i will be getting to go to this concert so we thought that'd be a great place to go just to Go because we haven't been and also then do the same tube journey okay so my boyfriend's gonna be here to pick me up in like literally five minutes so i need to go have something to eat and make myself eat something because again when i'm anxious i don't really like to eat so i need to try and make myself eat something and i need to yeah get my outfit together i don't really i didn't really know what to wear it's windy but apparently it's meant to be warm but i feel like the wind will make it feel colder so I've gone for like just a white top of jeans and I think I'm going to go with these shoes. I don't know whether to go with my pink ones but I feel like this is a safer option. I'm going to take a jumper with me or just have my jacket. So I'm really confused on what to take but I don't know, we'll figure it out. Parking at Stratford and then we are tubing it from there. Hopefully there's no traffic. I did also actually buy some of these. I've been seeing them everywhere. These loop earplugs. Basically, they're like earplugs and they just reduce the noise of things. So sometimes when you're in like a busy situation and like if you get anxious in like places or with loads of people, you can put these in, it reduces the noise. So then you can sort of focus on you and be like, right, there's not like loads of people, there's not loads of noise. And it just like, yeah and they do concert ones as well so obviously if the music is too loud you can put them in and you can still listen to the concert but like just have it not as loud so it stops you from getting tinnitus so i bought some of them so i'm going to try them on the tube because the tube is so loud and see if that helps but i'm really hoping today is a good day i really hope that i can get through this and we can have a really good day because down deep 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 down inside i'm excited 
but on this top surface it's just nervous 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 so yeah um i'll take you with me and oh yeah it's gonna be a good day positive affirmations it's gonna be a good day we're gonna have a good day the sun is out and have a good day and it's just all gonna be good yeah i'll catch you up when i pick up the camera next I didn't like the tube, but we actually got the Elizabeth line, so it wasn't as long, which was great. But we're now here, and I just, I love it. I love it when I'm here. My clothes are very Hello. 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 We did do a little bit of shopping and just got two things I will show you when I get home. But yeah, we're now just gonna get in the car and be on the way home. Yeah, but honestly, I'm just, I can't even tell you. Like, honestly, this is your sign. Really push yourself out of your comfort zone. 
so many great things will come out of it and I keep having to try and tell myself that and like I said like one of my best friends is amazing and she really helps me like so so much and she tells me that like a lot and you know she is right you just need to push yourself once you've done it you've done it and then just life can be better you know Hey, cool look at that it's terrible <laughs> Oh yes, please. Can I just have it in the front? That's it. That's oh, you put it in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. And my water. Did you get my water out of the bag? Is it still in my Zara bag? I think it's a Zara bag. Um, yeah. So now we're on our way home, and we're gonna just chill because I'm absolutely shattered. We've done like so many steps today, but I'll enter all the footage that I got on my phone because I'm currently filming on my phone because I got it. I thought it was like really difficult to get my camera out, like really difficult. But yeah, so I'm talking really quickly because everyone wants to go. So yeah, I'm gonna get in the car and I will see you when I'm at home. Hello and welcome back. <laughs> I look a bit different. I've literally just rinsed all my makeup off washed it all off and put some nice moisturizer on because I had that makeup on since seven o'clock this morning and I felt crusty. <laughs> so I needed to take that off because that was on for a long, long time. Yeah, so I'm now home and just basically wanted to end the vlog really. Yeah, I just wanted to post this and show anyone else as well that sort of feels anxious or even doesn't, but is just nervous about doing something new like just do it because you will feel so much better even though you have to go through that really hard stage of going through that anxiety and that feeling and take from me it's not nice like if you obviously if you've experienced it you will know it is not very nice but once you have got through it and you're out the other end because panic attacks and long last like anxiety cannot last forever like at some point your body has to calm down and the adrenaline does go and like your cortisol levels do come down again but it does feel like a lifetime but you will feel calm anyway the video of me just talking about adrenaline and anxiety but just a little thing and maybe as well for me to look back on and be like you're telling other people this so you need to do it you know so yeah super proud of myself today and I did pick up two bits, like I said, so I just wanted to quickly show you before I end the vlog. I really, really, really have been wanting to find one of them blazer style waistcoat. To explain it, like, have you seen on, I think, I think this is how you say it, is it Kukai? The Australian brand. I really, really, really want a waistcoat. I really, <laughs> I went into every single shop I could think of to try and find one, and I couldn't find one. So I feel like they're all sold out in the shop. So I went into Zara. And I did get one thing from there, and that was a pair of earrings. Might not be to everybody's taste, they are big, but I just thought in the summer, with like a really cute, simple dress, these would look so cute and elegant with like a white, long, flowy dress. So anyway, I bought these, and then went into Stradivarius, and I did find this. It wasn't like the waistcoat that I wanted, but it was a similar thing but it's like a knitted material so it is still like in a waistcoat style but it's knitted material and it's like cropped so it's not the long version that I wanted I bought the opposite <laughs> and I've gone for like a cropped version so I still need to try it on to make sure it fits got this in a size small because it does have a bit of a stretch to it but we will see I will try it on this was um 18 pounds and yeah i just thought it was like super cute and i'm gonna try that on in a minute and thank you so much for watching if you did get to the end of this video maybe look out for the next vlog because it'll probably be me going back to london again i hope you have enjoyed this video i'm sorry that it has been a bit like anxiety talking but i feel like i just gotta be real and this is my life sometimes and i just gotta sort of share it with you guys because i share my life online anyway so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye